Okay, so now that we've deployed our contract, let's go ahead and mint a test token. So we're just going to go over here to our tokens tab, and then we're just going to go mint new token. So let's start building out our token. So we're just going to upload our artwork first. And now you'll notice because this is an image file, there's no way to upload a thumbnail. But if you were to upload a video or a 3D or an MP3 file, you could go ahead and you'll see a little tab that pops up that will allow you to upload a thumbnail. So let's title this. So let's call this little guy, Mr. D Gen Ramen. Great, you'll see the created by underneath. The URL, typically this would lead to an artist's website or uh, a little special link that's prepared for the drop. And then underneath, we have our description. Let's go ahead with Mr. Dijen Ramen likes spicy broth. And the properties. So properties, or sometimes it's known as attributes, this can all be set down here. So for now, let's say, let's give this a new text property. We'll give it a property of, let's say, bowl. Let's take a look over the bowl here. Let's call it the menu bowl. And let's add a hidden property. So now hidden properties are attributes that you wouldn't be able to see openly on OpenSea, but you could find it within the metadata of the NFT. So think of this as a place to add hidden links or little Easter eggs that you want to add for your collector. So let's put that in here. And let's give a secret sauce of wasabi. So that now that we have all the token details filled out, let's just go ahead and mint this to Rinkabee. Here, you'll see the ability to airdrop to a different wallet, or you can just mint it to yourself. And for now, we're going to hit myself. We're just going to mint one edition. Okay, great. Looks like the token was minted on Rankeby. So let's take a quick look at a few of these links. So first, we'll go on OpenSea. Now this ingested automatically right away. Typically, this could take up to a couple minutes. Um, and let's go ahead and look through these details. So you can see the title here. The artwork displays as expected. And if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see the artist name. And you'll also see the trait of the mandible. Now, if we click into the details, you'll be able to see your contract address and the token ID. Now, you're probably wondering where that hidden property went. So let's go take a look. So if we scroll down a little bit and click on the token ID, you'll be able to see the metadata of your token. And what do we have here? Well, we have the secret sauce. Now that you've minted a token, let's head back over to Manifold and take a look at what to do next.